I think we've reached a stage in the world now where we understand that if we are to achieve a sustainable future, that we have to integrate different elements of planning. We have to integrate environmental planning, social planning, economic planning, uh, because at the moment it's all being done in silos and that isn't achieving uh, what we want. So I think we now know enough to know this is the right thing to do, but of course we don't have young professionals who are able to come in and pick this up. And I think particularly in India, where rapid urbanisation is about to start, uh, this is the moment to do it really, and, and it's, it's, a, it's a coming together of, of, of global experience and knowledge and India's needs right now. We've now got quite a lot of experience of working in, in uh, teams, interdisciplinary teams in our business. And what we find is that it's quite important to retain an individual skill and, and an individual specialism, but it's more and more important that people are able to work in, in teams and understand what that means. And there are a number of attributes you need for that. One is that you need to think in a systems way. Uh, but the second thing is you need to uh, be able to give away control uh, and allow the team to actually direct the, the outcome of design. Um, and also you have to be a good communicator, you have to uh, broaden your horizons to want to understand the bigger picture and so on. And that requires many different things, including a different way of thinking and behaving and coordinating yourself with others. And uh, that needs quite deep-rooted training and, and, and change. It's, it, it, it's not something that's going to come out of a traditional way of teaching, I don't think. India's needs, I, I think, relate to both what we tend to call retrofitting or regeneration of existing cities and, or making existing cities work better and actually uh, improving health, reducing poverty and so on. Um, and that's a whole area of activity which is very distinct from the greenfield development, the urbanisation that most people think about, which is uh, um, just building more and more houses and into integrated communities. And I think those two things require very different types of skills. And, and I think the retrofitting one and the development of informal settlements is really very challenging and uh, I think that one requires a, a lot of research and a lot of uh, development yet.